major cut. We have a Russian letter and a Greek letter this time. I couldn't really tell which one is the Russian letter and which one is the Greek letter. Actually, they're both from the same language. They can also be considered as Cyrillic letters. Oh, so that's why I got confused with their languages. Anyways, who could it be this time? Kapanta. Oh, I'm just blooped his replacement, because he's getting his voice changed since his voice was becoming bland for him. And I'm Key's replacement, because he's on a high seas adventure with H and Onye. Sorry we don't have the footage. Huh, <laughs> since when will Onye finally get an appearance? Anytime Mr. Q, anytime. Hey guys, what do you think about my new voice? I think your new voice sounds really good T. Although this is the last time you've changed your voice. Do you understand? I understand V. Now, get out of here you Russian letter. Nice catch Mrs. Asp. I'm surprised you're more aware than Mr. D. Anyways, let's just wait for K to come back so we can move on to take 18. What the? Cut. Why is the TV old text stuck together in glue? It's just a prank Mr. Q. Oh great, not you again. Sanye, I always thought you were a nice letter to me, but no, you pulled a really bad prank on me in take 8. That's just what I like to do. So let me get this straight. You're a heartless letter who pulls really horrible pranks to people when it's not funny and you really hate your sister. Yep, that's me. You don't even realize that you're actually a really bad person, but yet you just ignore the fact that you are one. Look at me, and see if I actually care. No, I don't care about what you just said. Mr. D has a point Senye, you literally kept on doing this two other letters and it's making them either really angry or really sad. I don't even know how come you treated me really good at the first place, but then you pulled that heartless prank on me. I didn't even like you at the first place. Don't you get it? Nobody likes you. You're weird and annoying, and stupid and stop telling me that Epsilon hates me. X doesn't even look like strawberry crepe cookie. That's not how you play checkers, and how did you even put a whole pineapple in the blender without the lid? Everyone here thinks you're stupid, and they all want you to just go away. Why am I getting this dark feeling to me, after I just told my sister that I don't like her? Well that's actually called regret. And you never had that in your life, have you? I guess that's why nobody even likes me. Because I'm just a heartless prankster who doesn't even care about his sister all because she's annoying. But it's too late to apologize for my actions, since I could have realized about all of this in the first place. I'm glad San Ye is starting to realize that his actions have consequences. I hope he will finally change his ways someday. But anyways, let's get the TV old text out of the glue so we can move on to take 19. Cut. Um, Mr. D, why are you sleeping? Huh? Oh, sorry about that Mr. Q. I got really tired but then I fell asleep. I understand how you feel Mr. D, but next time don't fall asleep. What I'm really what I'm tired about is the fact that, that he's that such an annoying thing. Thing. Anyways, take 20 everyone. Oh great. I know where this is going. Cut cut Omega cut cut. Is K running late to game? No guys, I'm actually invisible. K, invisible. Don't be so stupid Mr. Q. K is not invisible. Oh, I guess you're correct. How did K even became invisible? Well I found a certain potion in V's basement, so I decided to try it out for myself. Although it will wear off if someone hits you. Well that's a stupid way to remove an effect. I agree, also there's still a little bit left in the bottle somehow, so I gave the rest to Mrs. S. Hey Mr. Q, you should have the rest of the invisible potion and try to scare your friend Mr. D. I'm not so sure if that's a good idea. Come on, scaring your friends is really funny. I think you I should think use the invisible potion, potion to beat up your annoying friend, friend Mr. D. D. I guess that sounds like a great idea. I wonder what Mrs. S is planning to do with that potion? Um, guys, I know this might sound weird, but why do I feel like someone is behind me? Hey, stop beating me up. I'm a really nice person you know. What did I even do to you? I don't deserve this. Uh, 
Um, what just happened to Mr. D? <laughs> that was literally so funny. You should have seen the look on your face, Mr. D. Don't you agree with me, Mrs. S? Um, I agree. That was so hilarious. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me, Mr. Q? That wasn't even funny. Well, that prank was more funnier than you, Mr. D. How could you say that to your friend? Actually, you're no longer my friend. I believe Mrs. S is a more greater friend to me than you. She's funny, more aware, and I rather be best friends with her. What? You can't just betray our friendship like that. You're hurting my feelings. I don't care about your feelings, Mr. D. I'm moving on from you. <laughs> Great Mr. Q, you just betrayed your best friend and made him cry. That was so heartless for you to do. Yeah, Mr. Q, you shouldn't made him cry like that. Whatever. At least I'm finally no longer friends with him. And you can't tell Ontario about this because he will probably hate you since I'm supposed to replace that logo killer Q. You're becoming way worse than Q. It's like Ontario hired you to replace him, but instead of becoming better than him, you become a backstabbing friend to Mr. D. And he doesn't even deserve this. So you better keep your mouth shut and someday you'll be the one to apologize for your consequences. Fine. I'll shut up. Let's just hide his injuries so we can finally move on to take 21. You know, I do have a theory that Q may be possessed by someone. I don't actually think that he would kill all of his friends at the first place. That's a great theory uppercase you. I feel bad for him getting blamed for all of the things he didn't even do at the first place. I think we should come up with a plan to bring back DLD in the studio. I mean, it's not really the same without him. How about this? In take 24? When Mr. Q is not looking, we should leave the studio, go to D's house, and tell him that we're giving him another chance to get revenge on Mr. Q. Now that's an amazing idea, Warren J. So, are we friends? Definitely friends until the end. Cut. Why is D here and why does he look like that? Actually, you got it all wrong. My name is Jumpstart D, and I'm one of Crazy K Studios fans. I know it's been a while since we had a cameo in this series. Anyways, I'm just Mr. D's replacement, because he's hanging out with Mr. B. You might wanna explain yourself after the footage. I seriously can't believe Mr. Q would betray me like this. I thought we are supposed to be best friends. Hey, forget about that heartless jerk. It's better if you just move on from him and try to make new friends. I know it would be better if I just move on. But I can't even forget about all of the times we had fun together, until he beat me up and betrayed me. I understand, moving on from the past can be really hard sometimes. But maybe one day you could stand up for yourself and tell him how you feel. Even if he doesn't care, it's good to speak up the truth. You know what? If Mr. Q is gonna betray me, I'm gonna do the same thing to him as well. Mr. B, you're my new best friend. Aw, oh, thanks Mr. D, you're a really nice letter that anyone could have. Well, it looks like someone is feeling jealous. Anything to say for yourself Mr. Q? Look, I don't care if he does the same thing to me. I just wanted him to get out of my life and that's it. Let's just wait for that annoyance to come back here so we can finally do take 22. Wait, cut. Did someone try to make a fake TLD? What? I just wanted to make Mr. D feel safe from you. I mean, look at him. He's a really nice letter who is very caring about others. Why would you even hate him? That's because he was such an annoyance to me. Now get out of here. But Mr. D was supposed to be your best friend. How could you betray him like that? Get out or else things will become even worse. There's no way you're gonna beat me up until I feel half conscious, Quill. Hey this tastes like cake. Are you kidding me yes? I just like cake purple eye. Well you should have shed. 
just get out of here B, and you're not supposed to know who that certain person is. That's why nobody wants to be friends with you. You have no friends, and Mrs. S actually feels bad for Mr. D. That's why you need to know what self-control is. Because your intrusive thoughts are taking over your mind. How do you like that? That's why you can't just fire Teal D for just raging. And that's stupid. Please get out of the studio. Yeah, I'll get out of the studio. I guess I was being too harsh on you, but nobody cares about that. You're just manipulative anyways. Let's just take a break and then we'll do take 23. I thought we were gonna start our plan in take 24. Well I decided to just do it already. Mr. Q has officially crossed the line and we need to expose him for this. I believe Mr. Q had a hard time with making friends, because everyone was pretty much an annoyance to him. So that's why he has another clone named Quill. That person was supposed to make his life a little more easier, although he doesn't even realize that he's doing really bad things to others. That sounds like a great theory uppercase you. But let's not talk about Mr. Q for now. We need to get T back in the studio. What have I done? I'm making a bad letter out of myself and Mr. Q hates me for that. Is this what people actually think about me? This is all my fault. Quill ruin my life. Hey D, mind if we could talk to you for a second? Um, what are you guys doing here? Well, while you were getting beaten up and fired by Quill, I actually heard everything in that room. I didn't tell Ontario about this in the first place because I knew he would hate me. But after you got fired, Mr. Q betrayed his best friend Mr. D and that was all, because he was a quote unquote annoyance to him. I knew their friendship wouldn't last forever. Anyways, after that me and uppercase you decided to come up with a plan to bring you back. It wasn't even the same without you. But nobody probably even likes me. I'm just some raging letter with anger issues. Hey, don't blame yourself. Mr. Q just doesn't understand about your problems, and he really needs to learn how to control himself. Maybe this could be a great chance, to stand up for yourself, and show how much of a heartless jerk Mr. Q is. I guess I don't have to be afraid anymore. Now that's the spirit. Thanks a lot uppercase you and orange A. You two are the best producer and helper anyone has had on their side. Welp, we better start heading back to the studio so we can finally expose how much of a terrible person Mr. Q is becoming. No, this can't be happening. Cut. Why did you say cut? There's nothing wrong this time. Guys, look. TLD finally came back in the studio. Oh my letters. He really is back in the studio. I really missed him a lot. Yeah! We're glad to have you back D. It wasn't even the same without you. Oh, I'm glad to have you guys back here. Enough with all of this. D, did you finally learn your lesson this time? You didn't even gave me any lessons. All you did was that you beat me up and fired me for just raging. I was tired of you raging. All you just do is rage every single time for simple mistakes. And I am of the final straw because nobody is supposed to know the truth about all of this. I already knew who you were at the first place Quill. I was the one who heard everything. I even came up with a plan with uppercase you to bring back D. You are not even supposed to know about all of this in the first place. Well it's too late now Mr. Q. Wait, Mr. Q and that one guy named Quill are the same person. Yes they are. By the way Quill is a cyan version of Mr. Q with white eyes. And he's literally right in front of us right now. Oh. Who knew they were the same person? Quill is just worse than the Logo Killer Q and I'm starting to think that he's not a Logo Killer at all. I agree with you S. I mean, take a look at this entire theory I wrote about him. Shut up everyone. Now, Orange A. You should know that I was trying to be better than Q ever since the incident happened with the Logo. That's literally the opposite of what you just said. I agree, you can't just betray all of us like that you backstabber. Quill, I don't even know who you are, but you're making Mr. Q become a really horrible person. Oh my letters. I was helping him so he could have a better life and better friends. So that's why you betrayed me. It was your fault that Mr. Q can't control himself and his intrusive thoughts are taking over. Okay that's it. I've officially had enough with every single one of you. 
Oh crap, you better run for your lives everyone. There's no way you're gonna kill all of us Quill. You need to learn that your actions have consequences. Suck it up you simp. And say goodbye to your useless girlfriend. Don't worry everyone, I'll protect all of you from Quill. Mr. Q, we all thought that you'll be a good replacement for Q. But no, you ended up betraying all of us. You're such a backstabber. Do you guys think you're gonna stop me? No, you are never gonna stop me from giving you guys a sweet taste of revenge. I am untouchable, and I won't be killed. You're not untouchable. You're controlling Mr. Q by making him a really horrible person. You don't even know how I feel when you made him betray me with Mrs. S. I felt like I was not a good friend to him, and I was backstabbed. He promised me that we are gonna stay together as best friends. But he lied. You stupid little liar, I hate you really much for what have you done to me. I wish you could, just get out of my life. Just leave, now. Now that was a bad time for that. Um, how did you even get here? Up a case you called me while Lauren J passed out since he was unconscious from the ground after you threw him off. Don't you dare fire me Ontario. And if you do that, I will beat you up. Well you're not doing that and you're fired. I am sick and tired of all of your manipulation. And I can't even trust anyone because of you. Fine, this was all Quill's fault anyways. Although I did accept the fact that he's a part of me. Oh and Ontario, before you go, you might want to look at this. I could have realized about all of this in the first place. But no, I decided to fire Q and replaced him with that manipulative backstabber. Ah, I know it's just a theory that uppercase you made, but this could be the reason why Q decided to ruin the logo when he wouldn't do that in the first place. Well, that was terrifying. I agree, at least we're safe from Quill who was trying to stab our backs. Get it? Backstabbed. That's not funny, S. Well, I have some bad news for you guys. The movie is gonna have to be discontinued. No, this can't be happening. Bruh, what are we even gonna do now? Don't worry everyone, we will continue once we find out the truth about Q. Yeah, I really hope he'll come back in the studio. It wasn't even the same without him. That's a wrap. Everyone leave the studio.